Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is a first. Yes, for the first time ever, I sat down and I watched The Goonies. The Goonies is a film that came out back in 1985. It was produced by Steven Spielberg and directed by Richard Donner. I know some people are like, what? You've never, up until this point, seen The Goonies? That's true. It was a movie that I was always aware of. I heard of it, and I'd hear people talk about it. And even now, recently, the last year or two, couple years, people would make fun of me for not watching The Goonies and how they thought it was insane because I guess it's just one of those movies that my generation of kids would have grown up on and seen constantly. I know some people love it. So finally, I watched it, and... Let's talk about the plot. The plot is you find this group of kids who they're all sort of crazy and they find this this treasure, this map that's supposedly leading to treasure. And so they go to find this place and see if they can figure out where it is. And of course, there's like a gang, a family who goes around and robs people and not the nicest people. They're there too, also looking for this treasure. So you see the two of them collide as they look for this treasure and a bunch of chaos along the way. Now what I thought of the Goonies is... I didn't hate this movie. I didn't. I didn't sit here and watch it and think, wow, this sucks or anything like that. But I also didn't love it either. This wasn't something that I was like, oh, wow, this is why people liked it. I mean... Look, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that if you saw this as a kid, I could understand like why you would have nostalgic memories for it or why this movie might bring you back to those times when you first saw it as a kid or if your family, if you all watch it together. I can see that. There was some moments in the film that I found amusing, but overall I did find it a little cheesy, a little corny, uh, a little dated in some other ways. And the kids... I found a lot of the kids a little annoying. If I can be honest, let's talk about Sean Astin as Mikey. He was fine, but he was the leader of sorts. He was the one who uh, mostly finds this map and is hell-bent on looking for this treasure because their house is about to be sold, and he doesn't want that to happen. His older brother is played by Josh Brolin, which it was interesting to see Josh Brolin this young. Uh, I mean, I, I'm so used to him being older, and you see him as sort of the, the cooler older brother who he has this girl that he likes and a bunch of stuff going on with that. The other kids, Corey Feldman plays Mouth because, well, they call him Mouth because he talks a lot, and he does. And Corey Feldman, I the more I watch of these 80s movies, the more I see of him, especially. And he always plays a similar character where he does talk a lot of crap, where he does have a loud mouth, or he is sarcastic. And the scene, for example, the scene in this movie where the mother is hiring a maid, a Spanish woman, to take care of the house. And she doesn't speak English, though. Corey Feldman says that, hey, okay, it's, it's cool, I'll translate. And he's purposely telling her the wrong things and telling her how there's coke and meth in the top drawers and how to make sure all of that's right. And if you do a bad job, we're going to lock you in a closet with no food. And honestly, that made me laugh. He's like the only character that got a few laughs out of me just acting obnoxious and whatnot. Jonathan Key Kwan plays Data who I was surprised that the group had like an Asian kid. I was, because usually a movie like this would have a token black kid and there, you don't see a black kid. No, they went with an Asian kid instead, which was fine, but I thought that was interesting. Of course, he's the smart one who's able to create this weird and random tech that somehow always gets him out of a jam or always does things that you're like, okay, would that chattering teeth toy really grapple him like a gun? I guess it would. And let's talk about Chunk. I'm sure people love this character, Chunk, played by Jeff Cohen. And, of course, the first scene you see of him is him doing the truffle shuffle, which people like to make fun of and laugh with. And, honestly, I found Chunk to be the most annoying character in this whole movie. I did. 
I didn't really find him funny. I thought he was loud, obnoxious, and annoying. And just honestly, there's a scene where he gets caught by the Fratellis, the bad people of the movie. And I didn't care if something bad happened to him. I know that sounds messed up. I know this is a kid's movie and I shouldn't say something like that. But still, that's how much he annoyed me. Look, I'm not saying that he didn't have some moments of being a little amusing, but overall, I was just yelling at the TV for him to shut the hell up, shut up, stop yelling, stop talking, stop running around. I honestly don't know how these kids stay friends with him. The Fratellis, like I said, they're like a mob family type group, and and they were fine. I mean, the mother, the leader of them, like... She, she had this weird raspy voice and was kind of creepy in her own way. And then I noticed one of the other, one of them is played by Joe Pantanello, or however you say his name. And it wasn't until he pulled off his, his toupee and, saw, and I saw that he was bald that I recognized him. And throughout the movie, you see them go through the caves and find this treasure. And you see them interact with this character, Sloth. Who honestly, he was his face was deformed. He looked a little bit like Jason Voorhees without the mask. And I know people have fond memories of Sloth and how he's this big lovable creature who just was misunderstood and just need to be treated right. And okay, as a kid, I guess that's supposed to teach you, hey, don't make fun of something because he's gross. Maybe that's a good message, but when I see him and see how close him and Chunk, for example, got close and they're like, oh, I love you. And it was a little weird. And then by the end of the movie, Chunk's like, yeah, you're going to live with me now and I'm going to take care of you. And like the cops are around and nobody denies this. Nobody says anything. It's like, wait, you're just going to let this creature live with this kid? Okay. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you've seen The Goonies, if you love it, if you grew up on it, if you completely disagree with me, that's fine. But also, do you understand where I'm coming from? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!